Hello everyone, my name is Tim Sam. I am the Director of Instruction for Golf Tech in Henderson. And I'm here today because we are all stuck at home. Unfortunately, our golf courses are no longer available to us. Um, but hopefully everybody's staying home, staying healthy, staying safe. And of course, if we're gonna be staying home, that doesn't mean our golf game can suffer, right? We still have to practice, we still have to get better. And I'm fired up to take a look at some creative ways to use that at home time. We've got more time on our hands probably now than usual, uh, for most of us anyways. So it's a great time to, most importantly, spend great quality time with the family. And then secondarily, use that time to get better with your golf game. So I've got a, uh, a much talked about roll of toilet paper going on here. Uh, I'm not interested in this side of it. I'm interested in this piece of it, right? So once that toilet paper is done, Let's take a look at that, uh, that little um, dowel, whatever you want to call this thing, right? When your toilet paper is empty. And we're going to use that as our training aid to work on putting, right? So when we're putting or when we're indoors, uh, we can always practice putting. And the more we're practicing putting, and that's going straight to the bottom line and lowering your scores, especially with this exercise, because we're going to be talking about the squareness of your putter face. The single most important way to make more putts is to make sure you're hitting the ball on the line that you intend. And that means you're able to deliver a square putter face at the point of contact. So in order to do that, we're going to use this uh, toilet paper roll. And this works on carpet. This works on tile. We're going to square this up to uh, one of the lines on the carpet, one of the lines on the tile. And we want to square the putter face best we can to this roll. And the exercise, the intention is to get a square face to roll that, that roll right down our line, nice and square. It's not twisting. It's not turning. And if you're able to do that, you know you delivered a square putter face at the point of contact. Let's try it from the other perspective. Same idea here. We're going to get that putter face squared up best we can. And most importantly, get it squared up through the point of contact. Now, if you get a little bit sideways, or a little bit crooked with this exercise, it'll give you instant feedback and you'll see which direction. So this putter face is going to be open and you can see how that twists immediately to the right. So it's a great exercise to know that <clears throat> specifically your putter face was nice and square at the point of contact. I would do this a good 10 to 20 times minimum per day, practicing to make sure that putter face is square and then roll a couple balls down that same line to ensure you took something away from it. Hope this helps you. If you have any questions about your game or you want to share some video content or just some questions, uh, frankly, about anything related to golf, feel free to email me at tsam, T-S-A-M, at golftech.com. Stay safe, stay healthy. See you soon.